Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jasneet Kaur and I present lectures of folk science subject for class 11th and 12th. If you like my videos, then do like it and subscribe to my channel. Also, press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload next videos. With this, now let's begin with our new chapter which is health and wellness. This chapter will be divided into two parts. In the first part of this chapter, we will understand who are healthy person, also concept of fitness. And in the second part, we will understand concept of wellness and what is stress and ways to deal with it. Before beginning with first part, let's take a look on what you will be able to learn once this chapter will be completed. You will understand importance of health and fitness, different concerns and challenges related to health, concept of wellness and at last ways to maintain good health and wellness. Now let's get started with first part of this chapter. Before deep diving into it, take a quick look on the health conditions of the people of India. According to World Bank data of 2017, the life expectancy means number of years one will live was 67 years for males and 70 years for females. Mortality rate means death rate under 5 years per 1000 was 39 means out of 1000 children of under 5 years of age 39 used to die and similarly death rate for older age group between 15 to 60 years out of 1000 males 210 and 136 females used to die. This table particularly talks about health status of Indian population in different fields like in ophthalmology field which talks about condition of eyesight annual incidences of cataract in Hindi also known as Mothia Bind which causes 80% of blindness was 3.8 million cases. Similarly, data shows terrific increase in number of other diseases like cancer, cardiovascular, also known as heart diseases, malaria, hypertension, diabetes and renal diseases. It has been projected that by the year 2025, one in every five Indians will be diabetic. This health related facts and projections warn us to be more aware of our health and fitness. Though Indian government is constantly working in the favor of improving quality of life by introducing various health schemes for the betterment of society, at the same time focusing on reducing birth rates to control overpopulation, death rates and death at birth. Other major worries of health sector which require immediate attention are increase in number of diabetes, hypertension, heart diseases, osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is weakening of bones. Other communicable diseases like hepatitis B, tuberculosis, HIV AIDS, etc. Irony is, earlier people used to believe that health issues will occur in old age only. But nowadays, these health issues can be easily seen in all age groups, amongst all social status, whether belongs to high income group or middle income group or may belong to economic weaker section. These health risks can be seen in all, irrespective of their gender. Major cause of this is our unhealthy eating habits and sedentary lifestyle. Sedentary means where not much physical activity is done, mostly sitting. Now, when more people will be sick, automatically pressure will increase on our healthcare workers, as well as on the government to increase the number of medical facilities. This we all have seen during coronavirus outbreaks. This also brings along financial pressure on government. In fact, not only on government, but also on family of sick person. The quality of life will deteriorate 
it means when most of the time person will remain sick his contribution in upgrading overall status of his family community and society will be less now the question is who is healthy person but before talking about healthy person firstly understand what is health as mentioned on your screen health can be described as state of being free from illness or injury means if any person not having any kind of illness or injury that person will be considered healthy according to who healthcare is complete physical social mental and spiritual well being and not only absence of any disease now understand what who says it simply says if any person is physically fit and has friends and other acquaintances which are part of his social circle and mentally positive means person have positive approach towards life and everything uh, they do and spiritual means person is grateful to god and have gratitude even for smallest things in his life is considered healthy person okay so for your reference keeping it short you can learn this definition which says healthy person is the one who is physically active and fit happy and have good immunity against infections both ways you can remember and you can write in your exams now the question is what a person have to do to become a healthy person obviously one has to eat healthy food which includes more of good oil green vegetables which most of you might hate the most eat plenty of fruits drink plenty of water eat variety of whole grains choose healthy non-veg food like fish and include nuts and seeds in your diets so what to avoid now the question is what you have to restrict in terms of food what you have to avoid junk food big no no avoid excessive refined products like sugar and uh, oil flour you sh- you have to avoid always remember food with less fiber content will leads to constipation eating unhealthy food will have direct impact on your bmi wait do you know what bmi is let's get into it bmi is body mass index it helps in understanding percentage of fat based on height and weight of a person it is calculated with the help of formula which is weight in kg divided by height in meter square let's understand it with the help of an example let's say if height of a person is 152 cm convert it into meters it would be 1.52 meter square of height means 1.52 into 1.52 meter square is equals to 2.31 meter square now weight is 60 kg okay now come back to formula weight upon height in meter square it would be 60 divided by 2.31 is equals to 25.96 okay so we will say bmi of the person is 25.96 now we will see in which category the person will fall we do classification of bmi in different categories like if the bmi of the person is below 18.5 the one will fall in underweight category between 18.5 to 24.9 is normal weight and between 25 to 29.9 is overweight that means according to our example as the bmi was calculated was 25.96 the person is slightly overweight all right i hope you understood this concept similarly if the bmi of the person is between 30 to 34.9 it means one is class 1 obese 
in obesity uh, we have three stages obese 1 obese 2 and obese 3 and if it goes between 35 to 39.9 means class 2 obese and if it goes be beyond 40 the person will be class 3 obese now why is it important to keep bmi between normal weight because it will mark uh, the onset of multiple health issues like fluctuations in blood sugar level blood pressure level and can cause multiple organ failure heart related risks and many more now to maintain it healthy, one have to follow healthy lifestyle which includes clean eating and maintaining any sort of physical activity. Similar stuff, avoid excessive consumption of junk, refined foods, sugar and salt. Excessive salt is bad. If you are consuming salt in limited quantity, uh, in appropriate amount, it is alright. But if your consumption is more, you are more prone to hypertension. So that's all for today, my dear students. If you come across any confusion, you're always most welcome to ask in the comment section below. I will definitely get back to you. Also, while watch watching any video on my channel, uh, please do give your feedback in the comment section below as it really helps in boosting my morale. Don't forget to like this video and uh, subscribe please subscribe everyone there are still 70 percent of my audience who have not subscribed to my channel please don't do this if you like my content if you're watching this video if you are a regular visitor please subscribe to my channel it is absolutely free but it is a valuable uh, thing for me all right i hope you will support me and uh, that's all for today i will get back to you soon with the second part of this video Till then, stay tuned, stay blessed all of you. Love you all.